We finished the Dragon Newt arc and obtaining Exacion, except we didn't. Got baited. It was not Exacion. We pushed like the, the Gilf Dragon down. And then it's like a uh, Platinum Sword Plus. And then we somehow like, I don't know. We, we took in some other energy, right? I think we took like Erudu's energy and it turned to some other sword. Anyways, that arc is over. We're out of their place. Now there are new people. Actually, it's the receding bald hairline guy again. These knights are kind of like waiting out in front of the cave. Let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction. Okay. No. You're sent by the demons. I don't trust you. We're getting set up right now. I don't trust them. No. No, 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 no. This is sus. Not a hundred men, like 10,000 men, but I don't trust them. No opening again? The credits are running right now. No opening today. Okay, I'll be there. Bye. Belbub. Basically, instead of Belzebub, there's Belbub. Okay. What? The, 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 the next one is a fucking fly? Straight up, the, the next one is a fucking fly? I, 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 I mean, I want some more, like, demon, you know, milfs like Chaos Machina, but uh, all right. All right, Mash is with us. Oh, yeah, Rista Wings. Billsy Bub is the Lord of the Flies? I never knew that. I thought that was just a book. <laughs> it's a straight up fly infestation. A lot of fucking flies. They don't look too threatening. But there is a lot of them. Alright, he's the captain, Bilbub. No, he's not the four heavenly kings. No, no, we, we saw the rest of the two four heavenly kings last episode. My bad, right? Because there was like two characters on top of some kind of like shadowy figure that could have been the demon lord. I'm not sure, but all right. The speed is fast. It was like 500,000. Wait, they is actually impressed? <laughs> he could talk with the mouth like that? <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Be careful. No, you NPCs, stop. You idiot. How does the flies fight, though? How do the flies fight? They just like... What do they do? Oh. They just drop you from air and just let you die? Oh. Reverse fireworks. Because they drop down and they go splat. Okay. This is actually quite menacing now. It does not do shit to us because we can fly. But if you're just like a regular soldier, you can't do anything about this. You just fucking die. Yo, are we not going to save them? Okay, we're not. Can, 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 we, can we not have saved? All right, whatever. We gotta be careful though. We gotta be careful. Then what do we do? We should go back to the god realm and start doing more squats. Oh my god. Dude, they just got straight up splatted. Oh, it's a blue girl. She lived. I saw her. She was the most noticeable character because she didn't look like a CGI NPC. Yusha Sama. Rosalie. Alright. Nah, the morale is pretty low, man. <laughs> Avenge the fallen soldier. <laughs> Get it? Fallen soldier. Because <laughs> they fell. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Carlo, alright. You know, for his age, Carlo's hairline is holding it down quite well. I will not say receding to respect Carlo's hairline. I'm not sure if she's a good leader. Say does not look impressed with her at all. Okay. I mean, great war master. Who's the war master? The greatest warrior in all of Gebrand. Why don't you fucking say that, Demon Lord, then, asshole? Yeah, what the fuck? This guy's face, he does have hair. I can't call him bald. The mightiest man there is. He can't leave the capital city? The fuck? 
それでは早速ですがこれからハエトーズのための戦略会議を始めますバーッドそれでこの中に魔王の手先が変装して混ざっている Who could be the Demon Lord's henchman right now? Maybe it's Rosalie, man. Maybe, you never know. You never know. Explosives? They all just listen to him so seriously. <laughs> What to get up? <laughs> I'm just saying there's a possibility. Okay. 23 NPC soldiers, good job. Are we just gonna waste time? Is he just keep gonna like bring up concerns? And like we're just gonna fuck around and waste time here? She is so rushing. Really? I thought we don't want to rush in. <laughs> I don't need you. I don't know. Squat back home? <laughs> Bye. Yeah, he's leaving. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I mean, the probably, honestly, it probably is smart, right? You want to be a little bit more prepared, go back to the goddess realm, you know, do a little bit more squats, that'll do a little bit of training push ups. Maybe we'll get a new skill to beat the flies. No, you can come with us too. Yes, yes. Chicken? No, we're just being cautious. Three days. Three days there, though. We'll be here, I don't fucking... Half a day? Oh, never mind. It's not even an hour. Yeah. It's like a 1 to 100 ratio. Okay. That... If, if you can fly, you can fight the flies. Yeah, you won't get dropped. You won't get dropped. Like, you know, the reverse fireworks. She can't help though, right? No, she is very useful. We steal her hair. Some sussy hair. I don't know where the hairs are coming from, but you know, we steal her hair. She's very useful. And she's like a portal. She's like an instant travel for us. She's very useful like that. Really? No chance? Yeah. Yeah, we did just watch them get dropped. And like we can fly, so I thought that like I don't know, Rista and Seiya would go there and fly and like catch them, but like we did just let them get dropped. Was it really late? No, I don't care. Based. You know he is right. She is way too aggressive, way too irrational. She's making a lot of emotional decisions, which is probably rushing into things. Seiya is absolutely correct here right now, even though he is kind of being savage. Cautious man. No, we're just being careful. Bro, seven episodes? Fucking two. Demon King, Heavenly King down. Yeah, just one hour. Relax. What are you gonna do about it? Like, like what, 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 you don't wanna believe us? Then don't do it. Like, you don't need our fucking help. Get the fuck out of my face. Like, what, what? We're just gonna leave and come back. It's like, it's not up to you, anyways. Huh. Wait, we're getting a little deep right now. What the fuck? J Jesus. Wait. Say you're backing up? Reverse fireworks. Is that our fault? Or was it her fault for them charging in like that? You know what? I think she has some reflecting to do. Take a step back and look at yourself instead of blaming everyone like that. You're the leader. Nah, she's mad because she knows it's fucking true. Or else what? Or else what? Slap her! Oh! Okay, this is the thumbnail. <laughs> One more time. One more time. Give me that again. Give, 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 me, give me that again, dude. Blah, blah, blah. That's your fault. That's your fault. I replayed a little bit too far back. My bad. Don't speak of the finite if you're infinite is a pretty cool line, though. Talk your shit, Seiya! You killed them! That's right! Uh-uh! Block! Harry! Ooh! Frame one counter! No, follow up, follow up. Double, double, double tap. Show me it! Show me it! Show me it! 
just kept slapping her. You put the sword out? Pull our sword out too. No, I refuse. True. That's on her, dude. I agree with Seiya. No, she's being the child. Huh? What's her stats? Level 23. Oh, she's the Warmaster's daughter. Cry. Cry, bitch. <laughs> she's like a rabbit dog. Don't make eye contact, boy. Let's get out of here. One hour. We're gonna do some squats. We'll be back. She is like a dog. Even Rista's like, hey, nice girl. Good girl. Might have to give her fucking two hours, man. Jesus Christ, relax. She's just annoying now. That was Giga Chad life. She came at us first. Before I knew it, I hit her. Just looking at that woman makes me intensely irritated as he fucking grips his fist. <laughs> He's right, you know. We're honestly not being misogynistic, dude. What? You a new strategy? God of Patria Surf? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what did you say? God of what? The Patriot surfaced to air missiles. That's a reference that I am not understanding. God of guns. Does that exist? Really? I don't know what a Patriot is, but okay. So we're gonna use like ranged weapons to take down the flies? I thought we would just like, I don't know, spam fire on them. Alright, new goddess time. Patriot is a missile? Okay. Ooh, new goddess, guys. Goddess of archery, Midas, Mitis. Whose voice actor is this? This is a MILF voice actor. Have we heard this recently? Mitis. How many arrows at once? Oi, oi. <laughs> Simultaneous fire. Pop, 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 pop. Shining Arrow! Shining Arrow! Uh, cool, there it is. Oh, 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 we can actually take it on the tree. Okay. Alright. Seven in a row. I would always hit. She never misses. Say you can do it. Say you can do it. Did he just say, I will let you teach me? Did, did he just straight up say, I will let you? It's Mei Mei's voice from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Got it. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I'll let you teach me. Nah, Seiya will probably surpass her expectations. Something else. What, what, what else you want to train me? Hmm. Hmm. Is she fucking being thirsty? You know how he has that effect on goddesses? He's got the, apparently, he's got a passive, the goddess slayer, right? Now, we're memeing here. We don't know if he actually does have it. Rista mentioned, like, what, does this guy fucking have a goddess slayer? But, I mean, I mean. So, we're going to learn how to use fire arrow. Flame magic. And it's already out. <laughs> he's too good. Insecure. Done already. Too easy. Now, eight consecutive arrows at a time. Surpass the goddess. Editor, you're useless. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I like this new Midas goddess. She's nice. Carry the bag. It's chill. Eat candy, whatever. I mean, they are kids. They, they are kids. Well, what about Circeus again? Edu has fallen. Hey, that's Circeus right there. What's up? That means he's here. Oh my god, he's here too. I thought that, you know, his PTSD was over after the therapy session with training MASH, but I guess it still triggers him. Oh, Adenera is the war goddess, right? The, the goddess of war that we kind of just denied her cake, right? What happened to her? What do we do? Uh-oh. What happened? 
<laughs> he even got the stuttering perfectly. This impression is on point. <laughs> Too dangerous, dude. <laughs> hmm, run through the back, you say. Ooh. The biggest bus size of all the goddesses, right? I think Arya still might be the best. I think of all the goddesses, Arya is still the best. Probably, right? What other goddesses there that kind of com can compete with Arya in terms of just looks? The the red hair girl was kind of nice, but something about Arya, there's something about her dress. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way you said Ishtar, dude. Ain't no way you want that granny. <laughs> it's possible that a goddess can kill a hero like that, huh? Like, I, I, like they're kind of just talking about it in, in like a funny way, but... Like, it's not illegal. It's not against the rules. Like, a goddess can kill a hero, and then the hero would go back sent to Earth and lose all his memories, right? <laughs> Eru has just pretty much accepted her fate. You can just be candy here with me. I feel so bad for Eru. She is just so pointless, you know? At least Mash can, like, turn into the dragon and maybe into a dragon god. Eruru is literally embracing her fate as a baggage carry. That's right. Like, 100%. She just defeated. Dormant powers. That's right. Dragon god. You can release the seal? I mean, why not? Who cares? Let's do it. <laughs> Editor has just given up. Wait, she does? What kind of talents? <laughs> she didn't completely give up yet. She's crying. We, what? Nah, surely it's, it's, they're memeing. They're, the editor is being set up. The author is so mean to Editor. I feel like we're getting set up right now. What is the talent? Hidden talents? As a baggage carrier? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I should change the law. Skull? Kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you. We need to get the fuck out. Ah! Really? Yeah, say it might be back too. Dude, she is impressive how many different forms that she has. She just keeps changing like crazy. No, nothing, nothing. Just wanted to check up on you. Just wanted to check up on you. She keeps getting bigger. Yeah, great interior. What does is, what is, what is kill you mean, huh? All right, we got three in a row. Alright. <laughs> she might try to kill you. <laughs> but like, a goddess can kill a human. That would never happen. Would I don't know. So yeah, I doubt he's actually in danger, but it'd be funny to see what's gonna happen though. Would he use his new arrow skills in Adanella? I don't know. <laughs> You're in danger, bro. <laughs> yeah, be careful. <laughs> she followed! She followed! <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Here we go. She got the sword ready too, yeah? Holy shit. Now she looks like the goddess of war. Can we fight a goddess though? Can we actually? Because it's a goddess should be pretty fucking strong though, right? Maybe he'll like rizz her up. Maybe he has no uh, intention on fighting because maybe she'll just start, you know, melting as soon as Seiya walks over and gives her a little smooch on the forehead. Let's see it. Oh, 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 oh. Your hair looks awful. Oh, 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 little, 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 little head pat. Little, little head pat. It's kind of working. It's kind of working. He beat a goddess with a head pat. Fold, fold, dude. With just head pads, just head pads. How is this the same voice actor? How the fuck is this the same voice actor, dude? It's like this is probably straight out of the light novel or the manga, right? Look at it, the speech bubble, that speech bubble is showing up. So like, 
No, he, he straight up just looks like a, what's it called? A, uh, sh not a shonen, shoujo main character right now. One, one of the guys, at least. Now, like, even her hair, look, it turned into a heart shape. This dude definitely has got a slayer, right? Like, he definitely has got his hair right. Like, he is actually being mean, too. You guys are right. He straight up says, your hair's a fucking mess. Here, comb it. You being here is distracting and upsetting and bringing me down. But, like, it doesn't matter. He just is too good against goddesses. Goddess Slayer? What is that skill? What the fuck? He pretty much told her to fuck off, but it worked. Mm -hmm. And how would she know? Because he was the hero that she summoned in that B-class danger world that they failed, right? Clearly, Arya and, you know, Seiya, something is there. Oh, Mitis was watching too? What does she think about that? Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> One more time! Do that again! <laughs> I thought she was gonna bite! She didn't even bite! She let it with the tongue and just fucking licked it! Oh! Mitis wants that he got. Sorry, hero dick. Uh, then that's the episode? <laughs> what a ridiculous episode. Today's episode was all over the place. We had like the new introduction of the danger, right? So basically flies are attacking this place and we got to save them. But this blue haired girl is like the exact opposite of us. And we give her a little bit of gender equality fucking slap. That's right. Equal rights means equal lefts, bro. I think that we haven't seen the, the war god, right? So apparently there's like the strongest. I forget what the title is called. Basically her dad. For some reason, he's like the strongest within this world, but he's like bound to the capital for some specific reason. Probably some kind of fucking meme, right? But it was pretty funny to watch her get shit on and start crying. And, then, and she turned into a dog. Even Rista was like, all right, good girl, good girl. Let's go train. Now we're training back here. Cersei still has PTSD. Mitis is really into him. Every goddess is into him. Has there ever been a goddess that was not into him? And even Valkyrie? Valkyrie was a little hostile, but even Valkyrie, I felt like was kind of into him, you know what I mean? There's something off about Seiya and the way that other goddesses interact with them, man. He's already learning the arrow skills. I'm sure he's going to master it. Adanella folded so easily. Head pads. We just straight up told her that her hair looks like shit. You should comb it. You're distracting me. Get the fuck out of here. While doing a head pad. And she folded. She folded. And the goddess of archery is just a dude. What is that tongue doing? Oh my god, dude. They put a lot of animation details into this, man. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.